blood and treasure, Sophia Per. Hello, my darling. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about our producers told us that early on in your career, you went to audition for a huge movie franchise. Um, tell us about your audition. Well, it was a huge movie franchise. I did not get the part. Um, I, I, it was it was for High School Musical, like the spinoff, and I heard that. Um, I heard that Vanessa Hutchins got her, won her part because she sang Angels by Robbie Williams. So I was mm -hmm. like, me too. That's what I'm going to sing. I'm going. <laughs> I'm in. Going. That's my song. song. <laughs> That's my song. Yeah. And it was not my song. I, the, the vocals. <laughs> The vocals weren't there. It was it was horribly embarrassing. Oh, oh, I just went in. I was like a dry run. I can do this. And it was also one of those audition rooms where the walls were paper mache. Mm -hmm. So everybody that was also auditioning could hear, could, yeah. could hear could every hear bad audition. note that oh, I no. did not. Yes, I did not get. So I walked out. I was like, break, break, Lex. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was oh, everybody's got a, Everybody's oh, got yeah. that bad audition yeah. story. It's just part of it. <laughs> Is that it led to you being on Y and R? Yes. Which, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a daytime girl, right? Like that's an experience that is unmatched, right? Unmatched. And you, yeah. you can't explain it to right. people who haven't been through it and done these storylines. Yes. But what I love the most are the days, the daytime fans. You know, yeah. we're so lucky to have those fans in our lives and to support us. Do you have like good fan oh, stories? Oh goodness, I have so many. I mean, one of my favorites was I was at a YNR fan event and a, and, a, and this man approached me and he was like, um, I need to tell you a story because I think I was prophesied to marry you. And I was oh. like. Go on. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> but it was one of those things where I was like, you know, why can't men I'm into approach right. men? <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of clarity. Yeah, what? Exactly. 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 We hear we you. Hear we you. hear you. We hear you. This end of the table. We got gotcha. you. Right. <laughs> If I don't hear the word prophecy, I'm out. Right. right. <laughs> not, not meant to be. Not, not, not meant to be. Not meant to be. That's right. No. But, but something that is meant to be is blood and treasure. Yeah. Looks exciting, action packed. Um, but as we saw in the clip, you speak with a British accent on the show. First, how did you prepare for that? And Sharon, the, I want you to turn yes. your back and listen to her British accent. She's a judge. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 How did you prepare? Um, well, I was always I was always that child in the family that was like the court jester mm -hmm. that I, I was always impersonating people ever mm -hmm. since I was little. And my, my my poor mom would always be like, this is my daughter who has no idea who she is, apparently, because <laughs> she was like German one one moment, British the next. Mm -hmm. I was always in Starbucks, just like, hello. Um, can I have a latte? You know, it's like, <laughs> well, yeah. oh, pretty good, huh? There. Very good. <laughs> Talent. Okay, viewers love the sexual tension between mm -hmm. you and your co-star Matt Barr. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so how would you describe your relationship off camera? Is it like? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, he's obviously terrible to look at. Yes. You know? he's, he's a horribly attractive man. Um, but no, there is. We, we we have the greatest relationship. He's an incredible human being, and um, is he single? He's. <laughs> He is single. Prophecy, oh. prophecy. Yeah. 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 Okay, <laughs> what can we look forward to in tonight's new episode? Um, well, Tell us everything. We get to see we get to see Danny's past because Danny's always been the straight and narrow, and Lexi's been the gunslinger, and so you kind of get to see a little bit of his. You would never think Danny of Danny as having 
a hard, like a hard scrabble life. Like a, you, you would never think of him coming from the school of hard knocks, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but then you find out, wow, he's been through a lot, and mm -hmm. and Lexi like, kind of earns his stripes mm -hmm. with Lexi, so to speak, because she's like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So life hasn't always been so great to you. Like it, it's never been kind to her. So I think they they have this. Um, they find these chords of commonality that. To help them get to uh, where they the where they got. Yeah, the yeah. next step. Yeah. 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 The next step. Yeah. Yeah. Furness, thank you so much for being here today. <laughs> Blood and Treasure airs tonight at 10 right here on CBS, and we'll be right back. It's nice, guys.